Welcome. In today's video, I'll show you the simplest way to add a WhatsApp button to a WordPress post, all for free and with no plugins required. Stick around to see how you can do this in just a couple of minutes. Let's get started. So this is a very well established Spanish blog, but it really doesn't matter because what I'm going to show you applies to all languages. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come to post and add new post. So for the sake of this video, I have already created a script and I'm just going to copy and paste to keep it simple. Just keep in mind that I'm also using the native or Gutenberg editor. So I'm just going to paste my title and just remember this is in Spanish. It says how to accredit a Becca with Home Life Academy. Now on the left panel, I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. I'm going to add this to this category. And let me just use a couple of these tags here. These are the most used tags. And in the excerpt, I am going to just paste this here. I'm also going to add an image. So I am going to upload a file. I'm just going to take this one here. And I'm going to set featured image. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is just type the body of the article. Okay, and there's the body of the article. And the last step is to add a video, which I have also prepared on another channel. So I'm going to add a video here. I'm just going to hit this plus sign. And I am going to select YouTube. And I'm just going to paste the URL and embed. All right, so, so far my article is looking pretty good. Let me just go ahead and preview the article. All right, so, so far I have a title, I have a category, I have an excerpt, I have an image, I have the body of the article, I have another video, and I only need to add a button, a WhatsApp button. So let me just come back here. And what I'm going to do here is to add a block, and that's going to be a button. And I'm just going to type a text here in this button. I'm just going to type, I need more information in Spanish, obviously. Okay, so I need more information. So now I'm just going to select the button and I'm going to come over to the left panel. I have the settings button and I have the styles button. So I'm just going to hit style, color, text. I'm just going to put that white. Well, it's already white. And background, I'm just going to select a green background, something similar to WhatsApp. And that's really it. But I have to now include the URL. So let's talk about the URL. Now, in order to add a URL to that button and make it clickable, I have to add this link. So I'm just going to replace the parts that are highlighted in green with the message or with the information that is required. So here, you will put your phone number. You need to leave this plus sign. You will need to put your phone number here, starting with your country code. So let's suppose that your country code is 101, just to say something, or five, uh, 505, or something like that. You just have to add your country code and your phone number right there. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And here I'm just going to type a message. So I'm going to type So that says I read your article and I have a question. 
And yes, this part of the URL can have empty spaces. So what you want to do is to copy this URL and paste it into WordPress. So let's go back to WordPress now. So I'm back into WordPress and what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the button and I am going to come to this little icon that says link and I am going to paste the link that I got in my Word document and I am going to submit. It's going to ask me if I want to open it in a new tab. So let's say yes, I want to open it in a new tab. And as simple as that, I have already added a WhatsApp button to a WordPress post. So let's just see a preview of the article. So here is my article. I have a category, a title, an excerpt. I have an image, the body of the article. I have a video. And most importantly, for the case or the sake of this video, I have a WhatsApp button. And the way to know if this button is working, you can look on the lower left corner and you will see that when I put the mouse over the button, a little link is going to populate on the lower left corner. So let's see if that happens. And there you go. So it populates something on the lower left corner, which indicates that it is a clickable and a valid link. So there you have it. I hope it was simple enough for you and that you have gotten some value out of this information. If so, please like this video and subscribe to this channel where we will talk more about WordPress live chat solutions. I'll see you on the next one.